We have a two animal spectrum. Potentially, they come from these molecules. We're going to try to find out which one is going to be making which spectrum. I mean, which spectrum is made of which molecule. If you look at the signal, both of them, we do see two pigs. What does it mean? Having two signal of piercing spectrum means you only have a two different groups of hydrogen. That does not mean that you only have a two hydrogen, right? You, get, you should get it right. It's not two hydrogen, it's about two groups of hydrogen. So, a lot of the, the, the molecule we can exclude because of from that already. Let's talk about that molecule right here. It has a six hydrogen from the methyl and a four hydrogen from the methyl, ten hydrogen there. How many signals should you expect, should we expect from that molecule? So that is the kind of things that you gotta check in, and then whenever you do that, especially for the symmetric community, you gotta be counting carefully. So I'll do this one for you. That only having two groups of hydrogen, even though there are 10 hydrogen structures. So first thing is, benzene has a hydrogen here, there, there, there. But if you look at the molecules, it's symmetrical this way. So these hydrogen is the same as that one. These hydrogen is the same as the other one. It also is symmetrical this way. What it means is this is the same as that one, that is the same as this one. So all four hydrogen is actually one group of hydrogen because of the symmetry. And then this is CH3, this is CH3. We got two CH3, <coughs> but if you look at that, this molecule is symmetric for that way, so this is equivalent to that one. So we have a two groups of hydrogen. So this one could be potentially either spectrum. I don't know which one it is. Right now, we're only checking how many groups of hydrogen we should see them from molecule. What about that one? How many groups of hydrogen do you expect? It's almost similar, right? First of all, the one the same symmetry, one goes here, one goes there. So this is the same as that one, that is the same as this one. So all four are the same. And this H2, and this H3, that material is also the same. So that molecule is also having a two groups of hydrogen. So this is something we need to consider. But what about that one? Now the symmetry is a way more group, but there's definitely one group here. But this is a different from that one. That is different from this one. So we, this one, this one's the same as that one. And this is the symmetry there. So one, two, three, four different groups of hydrogens. And now that one. So we got two methods the same. And then these hydrogen oxygen are different. That hydrogen, so we have a three different groups of hydrogens in that one. And this particular one here, every carbon becomes different. So we got four groups of hydrogen. And then this one, what do you see? How many groups of hydrogen do you see there? I mean, those two hydrogen must be the same, so one group. We should be different from that one. Is this one the same as that one or different? This methyl and that methyl is identical. So we got two groups of hydrogen. So among those four molecules, we can exclude three molecules already because that has a four different groups of hydrogen, three different groups of hydrogen, four different groups of hydrogen, cannot be these two, right? Because we only see two picks. So we can exclude that one out, that one out, that one out. But we still have to figure out, we got three choices. We got only two spectrum, spectrum. So which one's which? So first thing is the number, the groups, the number of a signal. Second, it's a chemical shift, right? You've got to look at the chemical shift. Let's look at the molecule here. This hydrogen is a benzene that normally appears as 7 and 8. It's a little lower than 7, but I told you that it's kind of way to be talking about. They're not really pinpoint. It's got to be above 7. No, I mean, this one is close enough to be called the one in the benzene. But, so if you're, if you're taking that is a one that makes a benzene, then if you look at the bottom one, it doesn't have any signal between the seven and eight. 
What it means is this spectrum is created by the molecule that does not have a red queen. And then among those three choices we left out, this is the only one that doesn't have a red queen. So that must be it, but obviously we have trouble checked. But first thing is, let's make sure that if this is one giving up, this is, this is spectrum. I mean, almost everything matches, right? We got two groups of this, uh, hydrogen of the structures. We got two signal. We should expect the aromatic hydrogen there. We got aromatic peaks there. It's almost matching. But is it that? Would you choose this one for this spectrum, or are you going to choose that one? How are we going to figure it out? That has to do with the chemical shift. If you look at that one, that's H3 is directed on benzene. If you remember, this, the methyl on benzene normally shows up that region, 2.5. So if this is a molecule, we are expecting things showing up 2.5, not there. That is a 3.7, pretty high compared to the methyl on benzene. Between the 3.4, these signals normally means that that hydrogen must be next to the oxygen, right? The carbon must bear the oxygen to go that far. And this is the one that having an oxygen there. So this one is giving on that spectrum. And not only that, if you look at the peak ratio, that's a 2 to 3 ratio, we got six four hydrogen and a six hydrogen. That's a two to three ratio. So that also confirms chemical shift makes that is our molecule, not the other one. Because if it's that one, that thing is supposed to be showing right there. So you got to look at everything very carefully. It could be very very similar. Only one thing in all positions, but that's the one you need to pick out to make sure that you got the right one. Now that one, the integral ratio is, ratio is one to three. And if you look at the hydrogen, there's two hydrogen there, the six hydrogen there. So two to six is a one to three ratio. So even the integral ratio point out that this must be that one, because that's the only molecule having the ratio of the hydrogen of one to three. And then it doesn't have an aromatic hydrogen down there, right? So everything matches. So why does it come that far? I mean, you expect that these methyl groups in there, I understand that. But what about that one? So 3.9 is pretty issue of this region. Why the signal comes out this far? If you look at that, this uh, having one bromine down there, but there's another bromine down there. So two electron withdrawing groups working together, you know, make the hydrogen larger than this the last. So that is why the chemical shift becomes a high by having a two there. All right. So this is sort of things you're supposed to do. I'm expecting this much for the test. I mean the quiz, uh, quiz one. Two. 